Hello, welcome to the section of Mastering Statistics. In this section, we're going to talk specifically about finding the mean of a set of data. You know, a lot of times you collect a lot of data and you really want to figure out what is a good representative number to represent the center of that data set. And a lot of times we use the mean for that. And I know you already know what the mean is because we, we talk about the mean of grades. You know, we may have a lot of grades in a room. We're going to take the mean of that, which is a nice center value, so to speak. But there are other uh, ways to measure the center of a set of data, and we'll talk about those, such as the median and so on. We'll talk about those later, but in this section we're going to talk about the mean. So, I know that you know what the mean is, but we need to make sure we're all on the same page because in statistics it's a very specific definition and also some specific symbols. So for the mean, uh, I'm just going to simply define it to be average right, value of the data. That is the simplest uh, idea, you know, in, in, in school when you have grades you average them together, you know, to get your total score, which is a representative number of everything you've done. You average all your grades together. We call that the mean. But in statistics we need to be very careful because there, there are specific definitions. For instance, you may talk about the sample mean. And that's exactly what it sounds like. When you see somebody talking about the sample mean, what it means is it is the mean of the sample values collected. Now I can't really stress this enough. I mean you really need to make sure you understand because in a minute we're going to talk about the population mean. That, and that's conceptually a little bit different. So when we talk about the sample mean, what we're talking about is Remember, a sample is actually what you collect. That is, you know, you can't sample everybody in the country to, to determine you know, whatever your study is. So you go and you collect a representative sample of a thousand people or two thousand people. So when you talk about the sample mean, it is the mean of the values you've collected in your sample. It's very important for you to understand that, that, that that's the case. And the way that we write that down in terms of math is typically you'll have x, variable x with a bar on top. The bar means we're taking the average value of all of our little data values, x, right? And what it is is exactly how you know how to calculate the average. Value 1 plus value 2 plus value 3 plus dot 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 plus the nth value. So however many values you're, you've collected in your survey and you divide by the number of uh, samples. So basically, this thing, x with a bar on top, we call this the sample mean, right? Uh, the n here is just the number of samples, right? And so if I have only three samples, in other words, if I only ask three people, hey, what's your height? And they all tell me the height, then I'm going to have three numbers. So it would be x1, which is value 1, plus x2 for value 2, x3 for value 3. Add them all up, and n is the number of samples, so I would divide by 3. So this thing on the board is nothing more than what you already know. You all know from, from basic math that to average a number, you just add the values and you divide by the number of values you have. This is the same thing, but you know, this is kind of getting into a little bit of math speak here, you know, the way you have it written on the board. And so you got to, you know, when you open up a statistics book, you're going to see lots of equations, lots of formula. And if you're not like really into math or really comfortable with it, then a lot of times it can seem to be very complicated. But I'm just trying to kind of uh, put your mind at ease a little bit that you're going to see some math 